It's not too early in the morning to get to our destination before dawn. I'm heading not more than five miles from my house. Sad to say, I've driven past this place for close to 10 years and never once turned in. Sunrise this time of year is about 7 o'clock, and I'm not all that worried about being there exactly at sunrise. There's a good chance there won't be a picture taken on this adventure. Today's shoot is a scouting mission, so I'm really not planning on getting any photographs. For some reason, I thought there'd be more cars already. I've never been here before, as you can see, it's right off the road. It's a wildlife sanctuary, nature preserve -y kind of place. The Hasselblad 250 with 2X converter on the Blackmagic Pocket 6K. It turns this 500 millimeter setup into an 800 millimeter equivalent. Obviously this lens, which is like I say about an 800 now, it's not going to be enough. Uh, when you, well when you see the pictures you'll, you'll see it just... I wasn't sure what to say. It was clear the equipment wasn't right. The question was, what equipment would feel right? This is just not pulling in anywhere near close enough to the things I want to see. Sometimes it's best to just keep going with the equipment you have and see if the problem isn't the user. So that's what I did. The problem is that I keep forgetting that I'm out here to scout the area instead of take pictures. I am kind of surprised. Usually it looks like there's a lot of people walking this path uh, when you drive by, but there's like three people here and it's seven o'clock in the morning. It's not like it's that late. It was pretty cool being here almost by yourself. The traffic noise was a bit overwhelming, but otherwise it was good. I don't think I mentioned there are a lot of birds. I guess you come to a bird sanctuary and you're going to see birds, but really there isn't much else. The path was super easy to walk on. My guess is the loop I walked was about a mile and a half to two miles. The problem was, the trail really didn't have a great deal of diversity, and it looked the same no matter how far you went. The reason to get here in the morning is all about the birds. They stick around after sleeping and get a little breakfast. They say an hour after high tide is also good. So this bird that we're looking at is probably only 30 feet in front of us. And you can see on this 800 millimeter, that's not too bad, but most of the birds are gonna be at least 100, maybe 150 feet in front of us. Okay, time for some lessons learned. Bigger tripod, a different kind of head, and right here we're going to try something. I 
I was watching this guy for a long time, but never got a decent photo. So a lot of people here walking around with huge telephoto lenses, monopods for the most part, a couple of tripods. Um, it looks like it must be the same group over and over and over. They kind of give each other that knowing nod. And uh, it's pretty enough, but I'm not sure what there really is out here. We're going to see. I mean, it's been birds, birds, and more birds. 99% of them are ducks. Uh, I mean, it's interesting. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure I'd come back. Maybe. If I do come back, it'll be with my heavy-duty Manfrotto 536 tripod and the Gitzo Gimbal Fluid Head. Finding and tracking the birds with that setup would be so much easier. My mistake. You would think, with the camera that I'm using, I would keep remembering I'm out here to scout for a future shoot, not get perfect pictures this time. I really can't complain too much, other than the water spots on the lens that I missed to clean off. The video turned out pretty good. The problem was the still turned out to be nothing special. So I guess my feeling is, a beautiful place to take a walk if you're in town here if you don't mind the traffic probably the way to do it is to throw some noise canceling headphones on throw on your music or nature sounds or whatever and you're probably going to enjoy it a lot more photography wise unless you're really into birds and have the equipment and kind of understand what you want to do with it I don't think I would do it. The question kept ping-ponging in my mind. Would I come back or not? You can't deny it's pretty this early in the morning. And did I mention, there are a lot of birds. There's a loop about halfway through that takes you back to the parking. I took that. I don't think I missed much, as almost the entire walk was the same. Around 8 in the morning people started showing up, but it was still just a handful. The problem was the landscape never really changed no matter where you were on the path. Towards the end, you're walking right next to the traffic. Maybe it's me, but once I was on this section of the path, I was really just trying to get back to the van. Probably it would have been better to go back the same way I came. It was a good time, and it's good to have finally stopped. The problem was the landscape never really changed no matter where you were on the path. And did I mention, there are a lot of birds. A few thoughts as I head back to the car. Number one, there is no reason to walk as much of the path as I did. If I would have spent more time on a smaller section of the path, I would have got better pictures. Number two, have multiple lenses. Sometimes I needed a 300 or even a 150 and I didn't bring that along. Next time bring those extra lenses and it'll work out better. Now would I do it again? Yeah I think I'm going to. The time of day was excellent. I really liked it. The equipment? Obviously I'd be using a different camera. Probably a digital medium format. 
but more important is the different tripod and tripod head. In the end, the 800mm actually worked out okay, but I would be fine with something different. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, comment, and like. See you next week.